Okay, now I want to go into Britain. Let's talk about the brown babies who were left behind. So look at these little mixed kids right here. These are the babies that were put in the Holnicott house in Somerset. Okay, let's get into it. When Babs Gibson Ward was born in 1944, her mother's Navy husband did not question whether he was the father. He honestly believed I was his child. I think my, because my complexion at that time was very fair, it took six months for it to change. She was one of 2,000 mixed babies born to white British mothers and American um, Black American GIs during World War II. The children were dubbed brown babies by the media and had and many had trouble childhoods. When Miss Gibson Ward's skin darkened, her mother's lie was revealed. Her real father was a black US Air Force engineer. Sent away from her family, she lived in a children's home for the next four years. A foster family came forward and it seemed like a new start. She settled in well but was racially abused. I'd never seen anyone that looked like me in the area, and sometimes when I wanted to play outside with other children, their parents wouldn't let them. A teacher gave her jigsaws rather than spellings, saying she didn't have the same ability to learn. Her family life deteriorated too. She remembers always being hungry. Her foster mo mother died, and her foster father molested her. At age 10, she was removed and placed in another children's home. Three years later, her mother came back and they moved to York, but she frequently beat her and ignored her teachers <clears throat> who flagged up her musical ab um, abilities. She found herself on the streets at the age of 15 with no qualifications and no job. It's a familiar story for the so-called brown babies who grew up in white areas on the South Coast in the Southwest, South Wales, East Anglia, and Lanc Lancashire. Their fathers were some of the 240,000 African Americans who were among the 3 million U.S. troops that came over for war. Black men were segregated with ta and tasked with manual labor. They brought candy, Coca-Cola, cigarettes, nylon, and new dance moves to the British shores. Many British people had never seen a black person before. They were charming and less arrogant than the white officers. They met with women at dance halls or pubs on evenings which were designated blacks only. Lucy, Lucy um, Bland said, but relationships were forbidden and their children were often kept a secret. Most had never shared their stories until Professor Bland found 45 of them for her book titled Britain's Brown Babies. Nearly half had been put in children's homes. Some grew up with their mothers, but still faced abuse. Most were lied to about, lied to about their fathers. There's already a blueprint for these PP bros.